do you know where your measurement of a globe came from? No, only from science and Google, I guess. If I, I don't even remember, besides physics, you know. I understand that measuring things isn't physics. You, when asked for a measurement of a sphere Earth that you haven't offered, tried to subvert it by saying that you'd got physics for it. Category error from an idiot. Typical globe-believing behaviour, appealing to the magic of proof when saying science. Oh, well, I don't know what it is, but I definitely know it's proven because science and that. Physics, you said. No, Dumbo. Measurements are maths. You understand I've just called you stupid based on what you said and the category error. Stupid. Me, flat earther. You, glober. Me, educating you. You, ignorant. You, telling us we got physics for measurements. Idiot. Clear? Clear? You're just yapping, bro. You, uh, bro, I tore a strip off you, bro, because when you speak like this, you sound as dumb as you are. Bro, you're thick. Bro, thick. Yeah, bro, bro, stupid, bro. <laughs> Science, bro. It's not maths, bro. Why do you insult me instead of actually... Yeah, because you're not responding to me. I've asked you a close question four times. Do you understand that maths is not physics? You declared you had physics for a maths question. Maths is physics. That's what you said before. Oh, really? You think maths <laughs> is physics, do you, Dumbo? So, like, the the Globers have a uh, like a, a a theoretical working model of the Earth. You you guys say that's not true. Is is there an alternative, or is it just like you just don't? Think, is do you have an alternative model at all? Or? Right, okay. I, I, I get it. Okay. Fine. You don't hey, think let's it's just see if we can clarify. Cool. Your you guys don't think it's real. Right. Right. Well, I just I just no. got your question. So you're saying. I suppose there is a globe model and I want you to juxtapose a flat earth model with the globe model I say exists, right? No. I want you to throw out my globe model and tell me what is true. Okay, let's do that first. Give us your globe model so we can have a look at it. Yeah, let, let us throw it out. So give us the it to throw out and then we'll go on to talking about sure, it the that you would throw out is the assumption that the earth is round sure a sorry, that, sorry, sorry do you not understand hand. i've asked you to substantiate your supposed model you're claiming i need to offer up an alternative in juxtaposition first I'm not, I'm not, I'm, and now I'm, you're talking I mean, through me and now anything. like all globe fundy zealots you're chanting straight through the middle of what i'm saying is this painful to talk to me because it seems like in the middle of my statements about that which you were asking, clarity being given to the clear airwaves I afforded you by asking everyone else to shut up so I could hear specifically what you said. I heard what you yes. said. Now I'm paraphrasing it back to you with non-stop, incessant, globe-believing, numpty interruptions. I get what you asked for. I'm asking you... If you want a juxtaposition of a globe model to put up against your model you say exists, that is not the assumption Earth has a radial value that's spherical. No, that's not a model. That's a begging the question fallacy. Obviously, I have to assume now that you don't know the words you're using because you don't know what model means if you think it means an assumed radial spherical Earth. No, that's not a model. So we'll try again based on what you've asked us with me getting more and more irritated with you. Do you want to present your globe model first so we can see what it is precisely we're juxtaposing against? I don't have one. Why on unholy... You. you can shut up now. So why are you suggesting that I juxtapose something against something you haven't got? I'm not, I'm not asking for a juxtapose. I'm asking, do you have... Number like, one, do you have an idea? number one, Mister. I can't speak English. I'm not asking for a juxtaposition. If you could speak English correctly, it would help. You weren't asking for a juxtaposition when you asked 
for my model versus your model. Do you know what juxtaposition? Like there's his chanting through the middle of me responding to his lack of comprehension of English. Clearly, you don't know what a juxtaposition is because that's what you are asking for when you say, give me your model to compare it to mine. That's what a juxtaposition is. I am not asking for a comparison. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, at the end of the day, wait, 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 wait. Right, who's right asking the right question after, now? Wait, wait, wait. You're, right after you're, asking for you're a comparison, asking, you're not you're asking, asking for people a just. Yes, hold on. Let's just uh, hear chocolate I'm summary. You, I just want to on, affirm what chocolate world? summary. What is the shape of the world? What does Guys, it look like? Yeah, we, we're just as, as summarizing your summary. No, that's right, chocolate. After asking for a comparison, He's not asking for a comparison. That's right, Chocolate. Hey, the guy's a double-speaking interrupting clown. And as we highlight, his stupid, nonsensical double-speak contradiction about the contradictory non-comparison he doesn't want, he's going to tell us he doesn't want it. Yeah, that's right, Chocolate. Hey, Nathan. Well, that's, that's what's so, weird. Is there a size for the flat earth? Like, is there, like, a limit to how long? Excuse me. Excuse me. Is this is this this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this the same guy that was that just asked the question about the model? No, oh, this is him. a new guy. No, but I, you know it's crazy because okay. I actually wanted to interact with him first, and then Cooper came in, even though he was talking first. Um, Cooper's well, point is kind of done, and he's interrupting this guy. Perhaps right. we can move forward with the same point. Uh, well, right. what yeah, I was going to say is, stop is from talking with point. his mouth open closed. I mean, with his mouth up full of food. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. He's done. He's done. He's done eating. It's the same point. So he's presenting it in a different way. Go Q plus. Okay. Okay. I just want to know how like big flat earth is. Do you know measurement? Like not really measurement, but are there because I heard of an ice wall, obviously, right? That's around it. Is there an ice wall? Well, actually, I had that discussion of an ice wall with you today, I believe. And no. I made it very clear that it was at the globe that actually shows and claims ice walls at Antarctica. This didn't come from flat Earth. And what we would claim is that there's a notion that requires a shoreline. Now, some of this shoreline may be higher than other parts of the shoreline, but you're now trying to straw man a position that we have never claimed from so, your own side, mind you. I'm, I was just wondering if there was an ice wall, basically, because I, like, if we don't know what's past the ice wall or whatever, then we can't really tell how long or how big the flat Earth is. So we can't really. So we just know what we're just asking us up. to speculate. Well, I was just wondering. Si hang on, on the, what the overall size could be, and somehow well, you this can't answer it, obviously. And somehow this would prove a spherical Earth. How? Just Sean, I'm just asking, like. I'll take this on the thing. chin. Look, so guys, look, let's just not fight this. One sec. Let's not fight it. Right, he wants. He's asked a closed question. Let's give him a closed answer and see if he'll allow me to ask him a follow-up question. If I answer you, will I be allowed to ask you a follow-up question about your question? Yeah, you can. But let me ask this. I just I haven't, I haven't answered asking... yet. So before I've even answered, you need a new question to subvert from the answer. I haven't even given it yet. So we'll answer just clear the ground rules okay. again because it seems I've started talking in. So of you. So I'm going to give you an answer to your question. Do you know the size of the flat Earth? I'm going to give you an answer and then hope that when I give you a closed answer to a closed question, you will allow me to ask you a follow-up question. Will that be the rules of engagement, yes or no? Yeah, sure. Normal Perfect. conversation. I no, don't, I don't know. I don't no, know. No, no. Okay, so, yeah, I'll answer you then. No, I don't know how big flat Earth is. Do you know where your measurement of a globe came from? No, only from science and Google, I guess. If I, I don't even remember, besides physics, you know. You can just science. say no then. Rather than appealing to science when that's a category error, you don't know what science is if you're going to appeal to it when it comes to measurements, because measurements are maths, not physics. So obviously you don't understand what science is. You don't need to interrupt me humiliating you. You don't need to interrupt me humiliating you. I'm demonstrating to an audience of my viewers that globe believers are stupid. They don't understand the difference between measuring things, that's maths, and science, that's physics. Because you said, I don't know the measurement, but I've got physics and stuff. No, you haven't. You okay. just don't understand. Can you stop interrupting me, humiliating you, please? You are your archetypical globe-believing numpty who doesn't understand your own words. Yeah? And I'm going to point that out to a live audience. You understand that? I'll tell them how utterly stupid it is to tell me when asked for a measurement of something that you don't know where it came from or what it is. 
that you've got physics. I don't for know it. anything no, about that's the like globe Earth. Third time that this chanting fundy zealot who's got a globe, globe belief and is so... being embarrassed by a flat Earth and needs to interrupt me. You've all got the same mo, mate. When I embarrass your stupid ignorance of what category you're in and ask for a measurement and not recognising that measurements are maths and telling me you got physics, I'm going to tear a strip off you for being ignorant. Me, a flat earther, I'm going to tear a strip off you, your archetypical Dumbo globe believer, for being idiotic in your declarations and category errors. Measurements aren't physics. Do you understand, lad? Well, you're already accusing me I believe in the globe earth. Do you know where your measurement of a globe came from? No, only from science and Google, I guess. If I, I don't even remember, besides physics, you know. You don't even know anything I'm talking about. That's non-responsive. Non-responsive. A... You're going to let me speak? Non-responsive. He doesn't seem to comprehend what I've asked him. Because his non-responsive answer yes of no. confirms he doesn't understand the closed question. Do you understand that you measurements... Me and now he's going to interrupt the question rather than tolerate it being asked. Scared of the question, perhaps? I'll try again, hopefully without a zealot idiot, moron, ignorant of maths and physics, interrupting. Do you now understand, given that me, the Flat Earth, has had to educate you on your category error, that measuring a globe Earth size, like you asked me about Flat Earth, isn't physics, like you said, in your category error? It's a closed question. I have no idea, bro. Yes, because you're dumb. You're a fairly typical standard run-of-the-mill idiot oh, globe believer who doesn't know the words he's me. using and will chant through someone pointing out how ignorant he is. Because rather than listening to a demonstration of his own ignorance, you'd rather chant and yammer through the top of the person who's obviously smarter than you are. I understand that measuring things isn't physics. You, when asked for a measurement of a sphere Earth that you haven't offered, tried to subvert it by saying that you'd got physics for it. Category error from an idiot. Typical globe-believing behaviour, appealing to the magic of proof when saying science. Oh, well, I don't know what it is, but I definitely know it's proven because science and that. Physics, you said. No, Dumbo. Measurements are maths. You understand I've just called you stupid based on what you said and the category error. Stupid. Me, Flat Earther. You, Glober. Me, educating you. You, ignorant. You, telling us we've got physics for measurements. Idiot. Clear? Clear? You're just yapping, bro. You, uh, bruh, I tore a strip off you, bruh. Bruh, because when you speak like this, you sound as dumb as you are. Bruh, you're thick. Bruh, thick. Yeah, bruh, bruh, stupid, bruh. <laughs> Science, bruh, it's not maths, bruh. Why do you insult me instead of actually... Yeah, because you're not responding to me. I've asked you a closed question four times. Do you understand that maths is not physics? You declared you had physics for a maths question. Math is physics that's what you said before oh, really? you <laughs> think maths is physics do you dumbo no let me enlighten you bruh physics is a study of the physical and natural world mathematics is measurements when i asked you for a measurement of a globe earth it wasn't asking for a study of the physical and natural world it's asking for a measurement that's maths you said you've got right, physics right, making right. you stupid and I'm tearing a strip no, look, off you, I, I don't know and all you're doing as I tear a strip off you is trying to brace I'm against the awful truth life. by yammering through the top of the strip. I am tearing off a moron. That's you. Moronic to declare that maths is physics. It isn't. I don't know who mentioned Globe Earth, but you brought it out, out of nowhere. No, I don't know how big Flat Earth is. Do you know where your measurement of a globe came from? No, only from science and... Google, I guess. If I, I don't even remember, besides physics, you know. You know where your measurement of a globe? Physics, you know. <laughs> Only from science, physics, you know. No, you, I don't know who brought bruh. it up, but it wasn't me. Bruh, bruh, bruh sit down, so, bruh. Okay, bruh, okay, sit yeah. down. Hang on, just. Bruh, sit down. Plus, just to are you clear over. now that we're dealing with maths and not science, as per your claim? Do you understand that now? Yeah. Yeah, and why okay, did it take 16 attempts? That. Why did it take 16 attempts, bruh? Was it your comprehension level because that you didn't understand it till someone else rephrased it? Why are you talking through me now? Yeah? Bruh, you, that belligerence. Do you know what belligerence means? When you're interrupting my answer. What, middle of my uh, sentence whatever. pointing out my win? You don't yeah. know the difference between you know, maths you... and physics and you're still talking like you should have the mic. No, Dumbo. You have nothing to offer us. You are so stupid that when asked for a measurement, you told us you had physics. Ergo, you don't deserve a seat at this table. You think you've got the right to keep asking us questions. Yeah? The arrogance is off the scale. You are stupid. 
You don't know the difference between maths and physics. We're having to educate your dumbass. Well, you call us bruh and say, I don't know who bought up the globe earth you bought up, bruh. You know, you are fundamentally stupid. Why are you even here? Well, he, he was honest and he did admit that uh, he was incorrect and that he's been corrected by the flat earthers. So maybe we give him a chance to uh, ask his second question and school him on that as well. Due to his honesty. Yeah, because the respect he'll have afterwards is awesome, I'm sure. A question, right? Then you could respond to me, right? Yes. So, using math, how big is the flat earth? You already asked that question, you stupid clown. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you not hear my answer? What was my answer? I very specifically entered into rules of engagement and then told you what my answer was explicitly to move on to a question about the radial value you don't know how has been measured. So I gave you an answer, and now you're repeating the question. Comprehension a bit low? Hearing problems, perhaps? Short-term memory loss. Well, you never loss. answered me about the flat earth. You only said about globe earth. I uh, never... Yeah, I did. I, I very explicitly answered you. If you'd like to answer me, I would, I I would did. like to listen. I did. You just didn't listen. You, you don't know where the globe measurements came from. You thought they were yeah, physics. I don't really care about the globe earth. Yeah, you, you didn't, yeah, where we got to was you don't know what the globe measurements are. I do. And how they were measured. That's where I was going with this. But obviously, what, we just had a, an extended topic, interruption right? session with the guy yammering through the top of the middle of me. You're going to accuse me of interrupting you now? Let's get the whole hat trick of tactics in this little shebango. No, mate. We got to the point where you didn't know how the globe Earth was measured. We do. And how? It's measured with respect to a flat plane. It utilises Polaris or Al Biruni's method of dip with respect to a surface level that's flat and eye level that's parallel with it. So Earth being measured flat is how you got your radial for a sphere Earth. We know... How big is the globe Earth? 